Hey Catalina, I'm back, and this time I'm going to conquer the entire Trans-Catalina Trail, end to end. Why am I doing this? Yes! Seven fifty-five. Beautiful morning. Just leaving Avalon. Fifteen miles to go. This pack is getting heavy, and I haven't even reached the trailhead yet. Oh dear. Trailhead. When you play the Game of Thrones. You win or you die. Mile six, lunchtime. It's about to get serious. This gate means we're heading into Buffalo territory. Oh, I made it to the water at Hay Press. Whoo! built bathrooms all along the trail. There's one here at Hay Press. They had one at Lone Tree. And they're pretty freaking sweet. Brand new and shiny. Don't even smell. I made it to Blackjack. Those first 15 miles are no joke. It's tough. It made me question why I was doing this, but now I'm here. I've set up camp. Fox wanders by. It's all worth it. Day two, Blackjack to Little Harbor. Trail. And that's lunch. Right there. The problem with going down, down, down is I have to go back up. Ugh. I can't tell you what a difference a lighter pack makes. The first time I did this trail, almost exactly a year ago, I didn't know anything about backpacking and I severely overpacked. I had over 40 pounds on my back and it really kind of killed the trip. I had to even skip a leg because my pack was so heavy and my knees hurt so bad. So I'm back to do the whole thing. I started with 32.2 pounds and it makes such a huge difference. It's getting lighter as I consume things and it's day two. I'm almost to the airport in the sky. My knees don't hurt and I'm definitely smiling and enjoying it more. So moral of the story is pack light. Don't bring anything extra. Gotta switch back. First one. Hiker heaven. Yes. Oh my gosh, that food was glorious. I'm ready for the next five miles. 1600 feet down to sea level, so straight down. I love Little Harbor. It's my absolute favorite. This is hard to beat.
favorite view so far. So pretty. Oh, this trail's amazing. Officially done all my uphill for the day. Nothing but down, down, down. Down to those boats where beers, restaurants, coffee, and hot showers are waiting. Yes. Well, that first mile out of Two Harbors was nice and flat and scenic, but that second mile, 1,000 feet straight up. But there is some shade here in there. Time for some electrolytes. That's where I started, down there. I'm currently descending 17,094 feet in about three miles. It's pretty steep, guys. I'm so glad I have my poles. Bring poles. Whew! That hike from Two Harbors to Parsons Landing is a doozy, but thanks to the addition of these bear boxes, I can just toss my gear in and go for a dip. Since I'm the only person on the entire beach, I think I'll make it a skinny. What a beautiful last night here on the island. I'm gonna have myself some hot chocolate, have a little bit of a fire, then I'm gonna hit the hay early and get up before the crack of dawn so I can make my day hike to Starlight Beach to reach the official terminus of the trail. After that, I have to hike back here to Parsons Landing, grab all my gear, and hike back to Two Harbors via the main road to make sure I catch my boat out of here. So, I'm sad it's ending. It's been an amazing journey. I wish there was more to see. It's 5.30 a.m. Just gonna have some breakfast and head to Starlight Beach. Beautiful morning. Sun's coming up. I feel like I'm the only one in the world right now. This hike to Starlight Beach is not an easy four miles. Up, down, and all around. Get your heart pumping. start to finish.